something big and glorious and magnificently insane is, as its name suggests, of this era that was magnificently insane. So uh, it's about the hippie, uh, hippie movement in Kathmandu. The peace trail that began in Europe, that started from Europe and Americas, came to Asia through Iran, Pakistan, India, and then ended in Kathmandu. Because after Kathmandu, there was nowhere else to go. China was, Tibet was closed down, uh, Kurungur Sikkim, so Kathmandu was the center, and it all ended there. And so a lot of things happened in that. A lot of people met from different parts of the world, and Nepal had just opened up to uh, foreigners. It was uh, I think during the, the early started during the early 60s, continued uh, to the 70s and 80s until uh, there was a ban of uh, marijuana in Nepal. So during this period, uh, a lot of people from Europe, like there's an exhibition of hippies, and it, ha it has this documentation of Petra Vogt, who was, uh, who in my view we have, it's, it's, that collection is one of the most beautiful collections that we have. And it was taken by, uh, the photographs were taken by her partner, Ira, Ira Cohen, who is a very famous poet, photographer, artist from America. And Petra, Petra is a very magnificently insane character. She dresses up in, in what uh, can be called weird, but still beautiful, and the way she portrays herself, the way, uh, way she gets her friends to portray themselves is very, very beautiful. And then we also have collections of local Nepali people who were at that time, uh, let's say hippies, or who benefited from the hippies. So we have this collection of, uh, with Petra Vogt's collection, we have the collection of uh, Vidya Shrestha, who is one of the very, very few Nepali uh, hippies. And then there's collection in Snowman. Uh, is a Snowman, uh, Ram, Ram Prasad Manandar is one of the first person who, who made a business out of the people, the, the hippies. So he opened a cafe uh, in Zhoche, the Snowman Cafe, and it's, uh, it's one of the very few, or maybe even the last cafe, last uh, business standing from that era. You know, and then we also have collections like uh, Mohan Mulepati, who was one of the first person uh, in Nepal to operate second-hand cars, vehicle sales. Because the hippies used to come overland through Europe, through India, and then reach Kathmandu. And they would not have the money uh, or, uh, you know, the energy to go back again on the, the same vehicle. So they sell it here. And then... Mohan Krishna Mulepati, who had a yogurt shop in Basantapur, used to go, 14 years old, used to go to them and ask them if they could sell the, if they wanted to sell the car or van or bus. So he got, he got a lot of money out of that and th that was his business. And slowly he opened a cafe and then that became hotel and that became hotels and now he has a full-fledged, uh, he, he's a businessman. It's almost like a rags to riches story. You know, and then we also have uh, documentation and archive of uh, the people who traveled overland you know, using vans or buses. So it's, it's a mixture of whole different things. So when the, the show opened, we, we gave uh, me and Lucia, uh, the co-curator of the show, we gave a guided tour. And at one point we reached Century Lodge, which has a collection of Century Lodge and Suman Srashta was the owner. He's reconstructing uh, his lodge. And then we had a couple of old time hippies who had come back. And this, this woman, I forgot her name, she said, that is the room where I fell in love with my current husband. That is where we made love for the first time. And that is where uh, we, we conceived our son, now who's old, you know. So it, it's so beautiful, like she almost started to cry. And Suman Shrestha was there. And he also almost started to cry because it was such a beautiful moment. You know, so, so this show has been quite special to me and also Lucia, who's been researching on this for, I don't know, for so many years.